Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. So, uh, I, I just want to check the kitchen door. Can you actually unlock it from the inside? Or can you only unlock it with a key? Uh, it looks like it unlocks from the inside. There's uh, one of them wooden, like, toggles that acts as, like, a... Um, it's not quite barring it, but it's just, like, a, a little wooden thing that shuts. All it right. looks like it could actually probably only be unlocked from the inside. All right, so this one doesn't... You couldn't unlock the kitchen from the outside with a key, but you can unlock the front door with a key. Right. All right. So um, that means you wouldn't need to have a key to this estate in order to escape from the kitchen. All right. All right. Right. Is there anything else you guys want to do here while the maid is gone before she arrives with the cook? Um, let's look around for, like, secret compartments. Yeah, well, um, I'm, I'm half elf, so I've got a percent chance on that. Yep. What is your percent chance of noticing secret doors? Uh, One and six, me... I believe. Mm. Oh, oh darn it. I had it written down. The, no. Uh... I'm going to do this two ways. First way is I'm going to look. One and six. One and six, One and six. okay. Yeah. I'm going to look myself using this perception check, verify that I have the right perception. Right. Our concealed doors are uh, two and six. Yeah. But um, secret doors are one and six. Neil, do I find any secret doors? Oh, that's a really good search and check there. Um, you look all over the place for secret doors, and sure enough, uh, the headboard of the bed has a secret door on it. Perfect. It's one of those, like, you push it, and then it, like, pops out sort of things. Bingo. What's inside of it? Inside of it is an arming sword on, like, a little rack. It looks like one of those, um, like, a head headboard gun slots where you can, like, push the door and, like, the gun <laughs> pops down, but for an arming sword instead. Nice. Home defense. Huh. Hey, is it mm -hmm. magic? Is the armoring sword magic? Yeah, I asked the fucking half Haven't even yeah. considered. Yeah, uh, you got a twenty percent chance of detecting it. You do not detect any magic on the arming sword. All right. Well, I don't think so. All right. I think it'd be a little obvious <laughs> if it's gone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, while he was looking in here, can I go take a look at what I assume is the bar over here? Yes, you can head over to the bar. Um, is... It is well stocked. There are liquors of every kind. There's wine, there's beer, there's rum, there's bourbon, there's whiskey, there's gin. Are, are there sets of glasses over here for it all? Lots of them. And you'll notice that there is one dirty glass that is tucked in like a, a small sink area as if someone had finished it. A wine glass. A dirty okay. wine glass. Cool. Um, uh, does the wine glass on the table have lipstick on it? It does not. Does she have lipstick on her face? She does not. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> hmm. So, somebody else is inside with her? Or she just from another day? No, no, she hasn't cleaned every day, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she does have it cleaned every day. Mm -hmm. We can talk with the maid when she gets back. Yep. Yeah. Mm. It's true. And the cook, because the cook will know who's all been here during the day, because he's had to make the meals. He'll know if there's somebody else earlier in the day or if this is later in the day. Mm. Cool. So I am just waiting on the cook, I guess. Okay. Oh, actually, you know, I'm going to pour myself a drink of something, and then I'm going to wait on the cook. All right, you make yourself a drink. Anything oh. else you guys want to do before we move on? Uh... Mm. I can't tell if the person who strangled her was right-handed or left-handed by which side's more bruised. Uh, what was your perception check to search the body? Not it was good. 30, so. mm. yes. No. Oh, the was good. Mine wasn't. <laughs> yeah. It, she's just strangled. All right. Um, all right. So the cook and the maid come on back. The cook is a lady named Mrs. Featherbottom. Human? 
human. Uh, she is a, uh, a short, stout woman with uh, kind of thinning hair that is pulled back into a bun. She's probably in her 50s or 60s or something. Uh, so she be too short for the... Uh, yeah. oh, uh, Miss Featherbottom, thanks for coming. Um, yesterday, what time did you leave? <clears throat> well, I helped uh, make the last meal for them before they went on the trip. And oh my God, is she here? Is she right there? <gasps> How terrible. Don't, don't, don't look at me, look at me. And then we'll okay. put some of my back slight towards the bedroom so she's not facing towards the body. Right, uh, well, I, I made dinner for them last night. It was baked potatoes, pork chop, and green beans smothered in a raspberry reduction. And um, then I, I cleaned up, uh, I did all the dishes, I cleaned the bar, I cleaned the kitchen, uh, I said farewell to them maybe an hour before sundown. Uh, I know they had a an evening ship out of the docks that night. Um, and then... And then I left through the, the kitchen door. They'll leave town by ship up to Fenden? I believe they were going to take a an evening cruise. You see, it was their, their the 10th anniversary of their marriage. So they were going to take a boat from the dock down to the bridge where they would arrive in the morning and a carriage would take mm. them up to Fenden. They would get there by late afternoon. Okay. All right. Interesting. But they were both still here when you when you departed. Yes, they they were just about to. They they had just packed their things, um, but okay. while I was making dinner. Did you happen to see what she packed? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I'd like to take her into the bedroom. Or is there anything in here that she packed? Uh, she walks in meekly and looks around and. Uh, kind of points to that blank spot in the 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 closet and goes, "Well, that's where their luggage normally normally rests." And uh, um, uh, and I guess well, I don't know her clothes all that well, but uh, it does look like her formal wear, her her favorite dress is missing, um, and her her favorite top is missing as well and and two of his tuxes are gone as well as his riding clothes and her riding clothes are gone as well Th thank you thank you and i'd like to get closer with her and go now this might be a little awkward but did they have any special friends that would come by excuse me did they have any other friends who might come down maybe later in the evening when one of them was away per se i'm sorry i i don't under what what do you mean by special friends? Um, maybe they had some extra benefits, or um, maybe they were a little more benefits? friendly. What's well, Lady Matilda having infidelity? Oh! Oh, oh my heavens, no! No, um, no, no. We're just trying to rule things out. We're just trying to rule things out. Just trying to make sure. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mrs. Featherbottom. <laughs> So it sounds like they're supposed to leave from the docks. Guys, maybe we could uh, head to the docks and see why they didn't get on the ship together. Mm -hmm. Or see if something happened hey, between the house um, and the docks. If you don't mind, Ms. Featherbottom, there are a few questions I like to ask also. Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of rumors have you heard? Now, you, you were here most of the day, correct? Yes, I, I am their cook. Okay, so I'm sure you hear things about their goings on and whatnot. Every now and then you catch a snippet or something, right? Mm-hmm. Certainly. I need to know, was there anything odd, out of the ordinary? Like, were they complaining about anything? Rumors, like, even if they have no basis in truth, it's just what you heard. Anything you tell wow. us might be able to help figure out who did this. I know that she had been having a problem with two of her tenants recently. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know the particulars. I try not to listen, but I do remember her saying something about those uh, calloused farmers who are always hiding money away and they're not paying up. Um, something to that effect. 
Mm -hmm. And that the two of them were, uh, well, she wasn't seeing anyone else that, uh, at least not that I could tell, uh, but they weren't necessarily, you know, when you've been married for 20 years and things sort of slow down and the dinner oh, conversations. The you said it was the 10th anniversary. I think I said it was the 20th. I wrote the wrong number then, never mind. No, you definitely said I also, I also wrote down the number 10. Oh. Well, I in. guess I, you know, I've Maybe been here 20 years. Maybe it's their 10th anniversary and I've just been here 20 years. No, that doesn't make sense. I've been here 20 years. It must be the 20th anniversary. What happened 10 years ago? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's no. the 20th anniversary. Ah. Get that corrected. It happens to us all. It happens to us all. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so I, they, they, you know, they were kind of quiet and not really doing much. They, they didn't really talk all that much. Um, he liked to drink a lot. Yes. And was often out visiting patients late into the night. Does he have a practice in town? He does. Um, he just works from home, or I should say, uh, he he does house calls. He doesn't have a uh, um, a, uh, a building. Um, understood. Thank you. Yes, he and, keeps uh, all of his uh, medicinal supplies under the bed. Um. Okay. Assuming he's not here, they're probably gone. Have they had any big arguments recently? No, they barely say a word to each other. Interesting. Yeah. I know but she was looking forward to this trip. Right but they were go looking forward to the trip though. She was looking forward to it, especially. He's sort of um, a quiet man. He. You know those those doctor types. They they say what they mean to say, what they need to say, and not a not a lick more. Hmm. Hmm. Go see the cleric is sometimes hard to say. I understand. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know, clerics can't cure all things, and sometimes you know they're good for cuts and bruises and scratches and and sword wounds, but illnesses and diseases and upset stomachs and delivering babies, maybe not so much. Yeah, true, true. Mm -hmm. Well, well, friends, is, do we have anything else for Matilda? Or for, um, Final Final Final? Final? I'm sorry. I have nothing else. I'd like to reach out and shake her hand, see if. She will take it and give you a curtsy. Awesome. So I guess she doesn't have any scratch marks on her at all. She's. Give me a perception check to spot them and a charisma check to make it look like you're not trying to see them. <laughs> oh, crit foul. So it doesn't look like you're looking for them, but it also doesn't look like you see anything. It doesn't anything. look like I look for them. I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think that's why it works, because I don't. Stuff. And <laughs> if anyone says anything, I can just chalk it up to, yeah, well, you're a human. You look weird. Mm. You have weird mannerisms. Mm. All right. So you guys leave the estate. Um, yeah. Now you I'd got like to have a guard to the cook the crime and scene, the but... maid yeah. leave at different times. Excuse me. Do the cook and the maid leave at different times? Yeah, the maid comes in the morning, cleans up in the morning. No, no, no. no. I mean, the... like after we we're done talking. Oh no, they they walk out with you. Um, and leave at the at the same time uh, as you do. Uh, could you lock up the estate? We don't want anyone to disturb the crime scene. The, and we make sure and lock the back door. The the maid goes yeah. back, shuts the kitchen door, uh, latches it shut, and uses a key to lock the front door. And then looks around and hands the key to the half elf. Thank you. Uh... <sighs> All right. You have some more places you want to investigate, right? There are mm. the four properties. There's the shot, the the place that they were supposed to leave from. Um, mm. Was there anything else you wanted to investigate? The dock. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah the dock. Well, I'm in here. But, but, yeah. 
Oh yeah, like the docs has got one of the suspects. I mean, one of the uh, people. At, plus, it's got the where they were going to leave from. So that's the two for there. Yeah, I, I think the docks. We follow. We know that they were supposed to go there. Maybe we can figure out if she got on the ship and got off, or never got to the ship. Because that can maybe tell us something right there. That we can move on. I think we just follow her until we don't, until we lose her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one thing I'd recommend is you guys, you two, go question uh, this lady Jane. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Find out what you can, and I'll do some. Okay. I, I understand. I gotcha. I, I, I hope gotcha. all goes some... well. Yeah. I'll do that. Right. I, I, I understand. I need to do some shag things. I gotcha. Yes, yes. Yeah, all right. Yes. Um, we'll head over to Lady Jane. It's our tackle uh, Well, yeah, okay. Can we follow her to the shipyard first to see where they're dock to the dock master? Start yes. there? Yes. Oh, yes. Start dock master, then we'll move on. All right, yes. you head on down to the harbor master dock. I guess it's not a harbor, is it? It's a river dock. It's not a river harbor, is it? No. Connor, it's still no. called a harbor. Okay. It's still called a harbor. It's not a river. Even if it's a, yeah, can we just, you could just call it a dock though. Uh, when well, you get down to the, the piers over there, and the the pierman is, is standing there and, you know, has a, a log of all the ships that come and go, who owns them, who operates them, when they arrive, when they leave, all that business. Okay. I'd like to go up to him and kind of introduce myself and go, hey, I'm, I'm Pepperoni Chini, and uh, I'm investigating a murder, and I, I need your help, good sir. A murder? You don't say. I do. Yeah. I do. My, my, who has been murdered this time? Unfortunately, Lady Matilda is now dead. Lady Matilda Wilkins? Yes. What a shame. I will, I heard she was supposed to get on a boat and leave here last night. I was hoping you could tell me if she ever got down to the docks or not. She certainly did. And my, did she make a scene. Oh. She and her husband arrived. They hopped on one of the, 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 the ships, one of the, the long pleasure crafts that head down the river uh, for a, a long night voyage. <clears throat> you know how those, uh, you know, anniversary couples love their long night voyages. Absolutely. Well, ten minutes after getting onto the ship, she got off in a huff and stormed back out uh, down the docks and back through the town by herself, carrying none of her luggage. It's been the talk of the dock all night and all morning long. You did can't say that them... she's been murdered now, can you? My, my, my. Well, did her husband ever get off the boat? And no. chase her down? No. He went on their anniversary trip alone. <laughs> oh, the scandal. I see. Um, did they take a carriage here with their luggage, or did they uh, have someone carry their luggage here? They had one of their uh, porters carry their luggage. Uh, I, I do believe he went with them to attend to their needs on the way. Uh, he remained on the ship with the husband. Yes, yes, he did indeed. Okay. Who do you think has done it? Well, I think the murderer did it. Oh, <laughs> very clever. Very clever indeed. Uh... That's good. That didn't do but hopefully we'll get off. to the bottom of it. <laughs> do they have a butler? You know, it's always the butler that does it. Always. We, yes, but I do not believe they have a butler. Why oh, see. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> well, well, good sir. I also need to go buy a tackle shop while I'm down here. Do you know, someone said Lady Jane. Uh, could use oh, some yes, help. Lady Jane's. Yes, yes, it's a, a tackle <laughs> shop down the way, so you can uh, hook them and reel them in. That's why they call her Lady Jane. Very I good see. at... Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I see. If you could just point me in her direction, I would be appreciative. Down there, the third shop on the right. Take your first left. Perfect. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank you. And we head on down to the third on our right, and we'll take our left. <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 with all the recaps, I just tune that out because he does <laughs> happen so often. <laughs> all right, you make your way to Lady Jane's tackle shop, uh, and I think this is where the party splits and Shag yep. disappears mm -hmm. for a moment. All right, we'll do the tackle shop first, and then we'll do Shag's story on the side. Let me get some. Uh, let me get some bait here for us. It's fantastic. All right, uh, some dock music. 
you head on in to Lady Jane's tackle shop. It is a small one room little thing. There's a, a bench there and a whole bunch of buckets of the nastiest, stinkiest seafood related things in the world. There's some like uh, fish that has been recently cut up. There's a bucket of worms that are crawling. There's a bucket of centipedes in case you prefer those for your lures instead. There's all sorts of crap in here and it reeks to high heavens. There's also fishing poles and lines and hooks and all sorts of stuff in here. And uh, Lady Jane is the ugliest woman you've ever seen. She's got boils and warts and welts on her face. She's got like a big black eye on her left side. And uh, she looks at you through like the a swollen eye and goes, I, what'll be your pleasure today? Ooh. Well, Lady Jane, I, I came in because unfortunately I, I've, well, maybe for you, this might be some fortunate news. Your, uh, your former landlord was, was murdered last night. So my former landlord, I only so, got the one. Well, she's no longer alive. So that's why she's former. Well, yeah, I assume the husband inherits it. So. Correct. Really so she still has really a life. Her. You're yeah, telling me Lady Matilda Wilkins is dead? She is. She's been murdered. Murdered? <laughs> yes. Does she take that actually in pleasure, or is that just more of like, ha, huh, kind of sucks to be her? Give me a charisma check. <sighs> she seems to kind of be rolling with the punches here. She doesn't seem too excited. Mm. She might have that sort of like, are these guys for real look on her face? Sussing right. out the situation. Uh, well, okay. I am a cleric. <laughs> but so she's, she seems equally surprised by this, though. Not mm -hmm. not like she knew beforehand. Go, well, I just came by to, to let you know you'll, your the husband will be your new landlord, so maybe be on the watch for that. And, mm. yeah. and just wanted to poke around your shop and start looking around for a little bit, killing some time. I don't have anything on my mind to do in a bait shop, but she's not a suspect to me anymore, so. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give Shag um, some time to look around. And uh, like, uh, what was your opinion of the uh, late Lady Matilda? All right, like, bitch, she was. Mm, well, the, you know those nobles. Well, how? What in particular did she uh, do? She didn't do shit. She just came uh, by and collected money. Fucking useless person. She ain't got no skills, ain't got no purpose other than to take from me and take for herself. You know, my shop got broken into and I had to get down on my hands and knees and kiss her feet in order to get her to give me a stay. Hmm. Yeah. Story I sadly hear too often in this world. Mm -hmm. You broken into? That's unfortunate. What all they steal? They stole my strong box with my money. What else would they steal, huh? Worms? Who's gonna yeah, come was, in here and steal worms? And the I was equally sheriff, as curious, my friends. I was equally and, as curious. And the former sheriff didn't solve that case? No. Uh, my apologies. Right. Probably some halflings did it. Can't trust mm. a halfling. Farther you can throw them. Mm. That's why I try to be as fat as possible, my friend. Can I keep looking around, poking through the rods and stuff? Just <laughs> she, she gets a good chuckle and nods. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything is of middling quality here. It's not mm -hmm. an impressive shop. If you were a a newbie fisherman or a poor fisherman, this would probably be a good place to come by. But you know, it's not nothing of qualities in here. No, uh, and it just reeks. It just uh, it smells uh, fishy. It smells like money. <laughs> No, definitely not. Oh, do you know that? Um, have you any, any interactions with uh, uh, Mr. Wilkins? Mr. Wilkins? Dr. Wilkins, or whatever he calls himself. Oh, yeah, he treated my black eye. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's a sort of useful sort, unlike the late lady. He's got some skills, I'll, tell, I'll give him that. He uh, he kind of like his wife, also kind of uh, noblish, as one might say. Eh, one of them lowborn nobles. One of them, uh, you know, works for a living. Nobles, a little bit uh. more respectable. Ah, uh, I see. I see. You gonna buy something or not? 
Here you go. Um, I'll just I give her five. I give her uh, five copper. Well, what do you want? You you give her given us information. That's all. We're, Hold we're, on. She reaches in and grabs a handful of worms and hands them over to you. That's about five uh, copper worth of worms. Thank you very much. I'm heading out the door when she after he's given her <laughs> copper. I wasn't even going to do that much. We're we're well out the door before the worms get out. All right. Let's flip over to Shag. All right. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to find like one of the um someone. I'm just going to find someone who's sitting around not really doing anything. Plop oh, down yeah. next. To them. Yeah. Plop down next to them. Uh, pull out are a little. Are you still on your mechanical dragon? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So the people that you're walking by are just staring at you as you come down the dock. I, I like to think the shag just doesn't quite get it. He's just like too, too enamored with the with his friend. Uh, it's just like, yeah, no, do everything together. This is weird. This isn't weird. You guys are weird. Why are you staring at me like that? Right, right. <laughs> like flops down next to him. Like pulls out a silver piece. Like so. Like starts playing with it. What's the what's the word on the street around here recently? Word on the street. Dragon. Yeah. No shit. No, I mean like, I mean like the good shit, like good shit on the street. Yeah, like the, I like flipping the silver. Mm. They say the owl's gonna screech at midnight tonight. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean a fucking undercommon meal. Uh, it means <laughs> no fucking idea what it means. JP never made up a meaning for that one. Um, no. uh, in this context, it means that someone is smuggling in some goods this evening. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So, um, thanks for the heads up on that. Mm hmm I have, I have it. Can you tell us, can you tell me any, i like, pull out another silver. Like, can you, uh, tell me anything about this? Lady Jane's place, specifically when it got broken into. Lady Jane's? Oh, yeah. Got broken into uh, three months ago or so. Someone came on in, smashed the window at night, broke into her strong box, took it all, and fled before anyone could come on by. Last week, she thought she found the guy and got beat up real bad for it. Hmm. Was she wrong? Guy shrugs. I don't know. I didn't see who broke on in. I was Fair passed enough. out with a bottle of gin. I get you. I get you. It's a good place to be. Hmm. What about uh, her landlord? Lady you know Jane's landlord? That? Yeah. Know anything about that? No, another noble collects money. Mm, okay. Kind of fancy tastes. I think I saw her last night. Yeah. She's wearing a green dress, green silk dress. Yeah, green silk dress and a a big broad brimmed hat. You know, one that sort of droops down mm -hmm. like so. You know, mm -hmm. walking with her husband. Heard him fighting. Heard something about, uh, what, what was she saying? Something about, about. I pulled out a, another silver piece. I'm like, will this help uh, remember a little bit? Yeah, yeah. She was saying something about all that they're going to do is go riding and she don't like riding. And that if she wanted to go somewhere and hang out and not ride, she could just as well do it at home. She didn't want to be on the horse. I thought, you know, talking about something, but I think it was actually about the horse <laughs> since she left. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I'll hand him the two more silver and uh, say, appreciate your time, man. Mm. Mm hmm. You too, mechanical riding, Kobold. You too. All right. 
and then we fly off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> no one will believe him. Uh, the party reconvenes on the edge of the dock and the land, share the information mm. they've gleaned. Mm. Yeah, so she was in a nightdress when she was at the estate, so she was attacked sometime after getting changed. Yeah. She returned home. The The glass mm. doesn't really in- guarantee someone else is there because they were there after to go to the docks, so it could have been the husband's glass. They had two glasses of wine. Fair enough, yes. Or, or they had a glass before, together before they left, even if she used the same glasses earlier. It doesn't mean someone else was there, right? Mm. I don't think Lady Jane did it. She was awful beat up and not the type I think that was going to break through the window and choke her out from behind. Yeah, no, she got the shit beat out of her when she thought Oh, she believe could. me. I don't know if that's how she normally looks or what, but I guarantee <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, that bad, huh? Oof. Oh, absolutely. You don't want to go there. You got the better end of this deal wherever you were. Well, let's not judge someone upon their appearance. What are we, clerics of chase? No, but they're not all bad dudes. Um, that's all I'm saying. All right. Um, so it seems like to the farms we go. Well, uh, are they both in the same direction? Mm-hmm. They are Sorry. adjacent farms, actually. Adjacent farms? Um, actually on our way. Might as well um, just talk with the blacksmith. Yeah, blacksmith oh, yeah. is on the way. Okay, yeah. cool. The Absolutely. West blacksmith. Uh, hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kobold up there. Is there any way I could get a ride? I'm a little short here. I like look down at him. Look at the dragon. <laughs> Ain't. Sorry. Ain't. Ain't. Uh, it's above my head. Whatever you're going for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that's not too hard, but yeah. <laughs> True. Very true. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting short joked at from a kobold here. Oh, right? Absolutely, man. But you know what? He's riding a mechanical dragon and artificer. This thing is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, Nikopur, he's, he's the best. My, he's my, he's my best friend. Yeah, well, he's got a really cool best friend. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, he is. Beat the shit out of you. I mean... <laughs> You know, like there, that's... This like that. You look like a stick bud. Like, you mm-hmm. ever eaten anything? Who? Me? No, a cleric. Yeah, me. Uh, uh, now and then, yeah. Now and. All right. Yeah. You know, right. I mean, it's not his fault. He's a he's a half elf. I mean, things happen. Yeah. For reasons, sometimes. Yeah, pretty unfortunate. Mm. Get the worst of both worlds. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've never met a real full elf, but yeah, it's me just raised as a human, but yeah. I don't know, it's worse. Like, full elf or full human. Like, both are pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would agree. Would agree. Uh, let's head to the blacksmith. Right. You guys swing on by the blacksmith shop. Casual DMD racism is done. <laughs> Just always a little bit of casual racism. What, what else needs to happen? It's fine yeah. as long as it's not like institutionalized, right? Social, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know what the dwarf is institutionalized, right? I mean, and uh, we would track it so everyone just calls the Cubans uh, coops and uh, just says mean things about them. Mm hmm. All right, you find yourself at the blacksmith shop. Um, the blacksmith's name is Harold. All right, good afternoon, Harold. Got some questions for you. Ah, uh, uh, good afternoon. Did you need another uh, part for Nicrofer there? Uh, <laughs> no, not right now. We're we're good for now. Um, probably gonna need one in a couple days though. I think. Uh, I think one of the servos back there is getting a little sticky. That's the uh, roundy, roundy one, right? No, it's the in and out. The, the push and that. Oh, it's the push of the in and yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you yeah, call them servos. Cogwrench, he calls them different things. I, I just make the damn shit. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I think he put sap in there instead of like proper <laughs> oil. Um, yeah, so it's getting all gummed up, and I think I just am gonna need to replace the part. Oh. Appreciate all your help, though, man. My pleasure. Oh. 
But got some questions about your landlord there. Um, how's she been treating you? Well, you know, she comes by, she takes some money, I give it to her, and we don't see each other for another month. That's those are the good days. The the bad days, she comes and yells at me, and calls me terrible things, and um, then I give her the money, and then she goes. You know, Is there she was. That... Hmm. Is there any reason why she calls you the terrible things? Like, oh, why were you late, or just? She's just being a bitch. I, she shows up. I'm pounding away on something. Maybe it's a servo. Maybe it's a longsword. Who knows, right? But I can't hear her. You know, so I'm hitting on the, the, the metal, putting it, quenching it in the water, putting it back in, shoveling more coal in there. It's a noisy area around here. It's fucking hot, too. You know, and so she's over there blabbering at me. I can't even hear that she's there. And then all of a sudden I turn around and she's in like all red faced raging at me because I didn't hear that she'd come in and she'd been trying to get my attention. You know, why doesn't she just come around and like wave at me from the front like a normal person? No, no, no. She's got to be over there in the shade. You fucking let me just tell you. All right. I ain't never had a good landlord. She's a mean one. She's downright mean. Hmm. Have you ever met her husband? He's all right. Kind of a quiet guy. I uh, smashed my thumb once real good. Tried to take it to a cleric and... They said that they'd heal it, but because it was already, you know, smashed, that the bones wouldn't heal right. So I had to get the bones fixed before the cleric could could heal the flesh. Fair and uh, he set it up all good. Nice. All right. <laughs> the main reason is uh, she was found dead in her home this morning. Oh, I mean, oh, that's <laughs> terrible. Well, it's, yeah. you still got a landlord, so nothing really. Yeah, I think. I think her husband's gonna be your new landlord, but the one actually collecting the money. I don't know, that's the legal side. We're just trying to figure out who did it. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, I didn't do it. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, cool. for sure. Um, do you have any darts you've got for sale right now? I could use a couple. Yeah. I'll sell you some darts. Awesome. Cool. He goes, piece. throws open his box of weapons, a uh, box of darts, and we'll sell them to you at whatever standard price is. Silver a piece. There you go. Yep. All right. I'm going to grab a couple. That's all I need from him. And I'm out the door. All right. Hmm. Yep. Um, does he have any scratches? Because he's got the strength to do this. But Oh, he's got tons he of scratches all over him. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Like, would they look like fingernail scratches or they just look like burn scratches? Give me a perception check and a charisma check. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done it then. <laughs> no, it's too late now. Yes, it is. Okay, perception first. Oh. And here's the charisma, 50-50. Oh. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you take a look at him, and sure enough, he has lots of scratch marks all over him. Like, he's got like bruises on his arms. He's got like lacerations on his forearms. His hands are like dirty and gnarled and calloused with like dozens of scratch marks all over him. Some of them from blades, some of them probably from fingernails. Like he's got, he's probably has every conceivable wound you could have on a person, mm. you know, without being mortally wounding. Hmm. So, yeah, and I assume the complexion matches the general population of the area. Yeah, he is of the... They're all going to be the same complexion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so no need to note that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Okay, because he's easily got the... More, because he's a blacksmith, I assume he's got more than the uh, 12 strength oh. required. Yes. Far more, yeah. Far more. Yeah. Yeah, if I had a roll better on that other check, I would have seen if it was done by someone really strong or not. But we'll see. Right. I've got no more. Anyone else got anything here? Mm -mm. No. No. Right. See you guys around. All right. See you, bud. All right. All right. Uh, uh, next up. We'll check out the farms and... Uh... Uh, let's check out the farm where they, they were all paid up. Like, no problems. Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. All right, the the place that recently had some debts, but they paid up, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that one. 
Alrighty, you head on over to the farm. Let me turn off our blacksmith sounds. Okay. You make it on over there, and there are four people working in the fields. It looks like mother, father, son, and daughter. And uh, they are picking away at green onions. They're picking green onions. Right. Mm -hmm. So we kind of go up, greeting friends, and kind of wave at them. And I kind of will look him up and down as I'm getting closer, just so that way it's not as weird. Mm -hmm. See if anyone's got any visible scars on them. Sure. Uh, or like open wounds, I guess, or recent stuff. Well, they're pretty callous as farmers, but. Right. Uh, there's nothing suspicious on them, but they do work with their hands. Their hands are covered in, in dirt and lots of small scratches from working in the earth all the time. Yeah, I figured. Mm -hmm. uh, the dad stands up. Um, everyone else kind of perks up, and he, like, waves them back down to go to work and marches over towards you guys. What do you need? You want some onions? We got onions. We got them in green. We got them in red. We got them in yellow. We got them in white. No, we don't need any onions. No, no onions for me either. What about what some about garlic? You? We got regular garlic. We got uh, elephant garlic. We even got, we got some of that little garlic. Garlic. All right. What do you need? What can you tell us about your landlord? Lady Wilkins? Yeah. Mm. One and the same. Um, he takes off his hat. Well, she's a, a mighty fine woman. Upstanding noble lady. Al always fair, always just. Okay. Mm. So you wouldn't describe her tongue as pleasant as a hangman's noose? I would not use those words, no, sir. That would be rude. <laughs> but maybe not inaccurate? Uh, your word's not mine, sir. Your word's not mine. Mm. Mm. We were informed that uh, you recently had some issues with your last payment with her how how would is you she collect is she trying to double collect on that because i paid up swear to god swear to all the gods swear to a stare i paid up on those debts we're, well, we're no, square sure. we're square I'm, I'm sure you did but how did she handle that what what processes were involved well she came down and our uh, rents had gone up and uh, she had come down and given us a stern talking to, and we, you know, she comes, it, it's it's the last day of the month, we're just getting done with work, she comes on over, says, rent's due, by the way, it's 10% more than it used to be, uh, pay me now, and uh, we couldn't, because we'd only counted for the regular rent, not the extra 10%, and, uh, you know, it, it ends are sort of hard to meet, and we told her that we couldn't couldn't pay it right now, and um, she insisted. <clears throat> and uh, we said we'd have to just owe her the money. And she said that she'd be charging interest on our debt. And uh, we've been working our butt off ever since to, to make it happen. And, and last month, in the last month, three days ago, actually, we we done it. We paid it mm -hmm. all off. Yeah. Huh? Good. Yeah. Did she explain why the rent went up? No, or sir. Just, she just being a noble. Yes. Is this the first time she's raised the rent on you? Uh, first time in years, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, sir, I don't want to keep you from your farms. I don't know if I have anything else that I need your attention on. Do y'all have anything you, else for the kind gentlemen? Have a good day. Y'all too. Um, and he, when he came up and he goes back, he didn't seem like he had any just concentric, like long lines down his arms, did he? Because usually when you work with the bushes, they're kind of, they're different directions. 
but if you're getting scratched by somebody, they would all be parallel versus perpendicular in the other right. directions, right? Right. Uh, no, he's got like cut off. His sleeves are cut off at the shoulders, so you can see all his whole arms. They're kind of hairy, uh, and there's not like long scratch marks that run down them. Okay. Cool. And did anyone else in his family look particularly strong? Um, I guess his wife and which of his children is older. Uh, and his daughter are pretty pretty tough. The daughter's maybe 15, 16 years old. The son maybe 10 or 11. Um, they're all pretty beefy farmers. Okay. So they, they could be 12 strength people, I guess is what I'm after. You would expect those three to be 12 strength. The boy, well, maybe seven or eight. Yeah, he's still working on it. Yeah, he's, he's a youngin. Okay. Well, I'm going to take him at face value right now. I don't think that they were the ones to do it. No, he's totally the one to do it. Either him or his wife. Think so? Oh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see next farm, because at least these people paid it off. The next people haven't paid off yet. Maybe they went over to try to get a stay, and then, then they got her. Hmm. Because, yeah. I mean, there's interest involved, and uh, three... Yeah. That, yeah. So I'm thinking the other ones could never catch up. She got them in an interest, the, the credit card loop, you know? Never get out. Mm -hmm. But killing her would be just vengeance, because you wouldn't get out of the debt just killing him no but maybe the guy's more reasonable doesn't seem like mm. she's gonna be missed much mm. Mm. all right. right you head on over to the other farm um and in this situation you see a, a man kicked back with his feet up on his porch in a rocking chair with a, a drink in his hand and a whole bunch of other people out in his fields working them for him hmm <laughs> All right. What are they? What's this farm do? Right now, they're picking potatoes. All right. Okay. Let's Go walk on up. Guy. Yeah, talk to the guy on the porch. Uh, you guys start walking towards him, and he reaches down and puts a crossbow on his lap and keeps sipping mm -hmm. his drink as you all approach, and stares at you in the face. Which one does he stare in the face? Oh, you on the dragon. <laughs> okay. This one happened to be a former pot farm that was uh, attacked a few months ago. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> all right. So uh, you all just stay right there, he says, as you get to the edge of his porch. What can I do for you? Got some questions for you. Mm hmm. Can you tell us of your landlord? Lady Wilkins? Mm -hmm. Well, she's a mighty fine lady, if you know what I mean. Not mm -hmm. unpleasant in the least. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, what about your dealings with her? How have they been? How have they been handled? What's this all about? This is about her. Who are you all coming around um, here asking me questions? Oh, we're just, uh, you know, what's been hired as local law enforcement. Just asking mm. questions. I don't see a sheriff's badge on any of you. I don't think I'm obligated to answer any of your questions. All right. You're correct, sir. I can't obligate you if you don't just start speaking up. Well, then. I, I keep shagged the side eye on that one. <laughs> I thank you kindly all to get off my land. What are you going to do? Shoot me with that crossbow? Even if you hit by the time that you load a second shot, you could easily be dead. Wouldn't even think twice. As I said, I'll kindly ask you all to get off my land. I'll kindly ask you to just answer some questions. Where were you last night? I was right here in my house, drinking a beer, mm. having a good old time by myself. Good old so time no by yourself. Don't corroborate you. No family, no kids. Shit. I ain't ever found a woman long enough uh, who will stick around long enough to give me some kids. Big surprise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
full of big surprises. You just ask them over at Burton's Brothel. I'm sure they'll tell us about the biggest surprise, or lack mm -hmm. thereof. Any other questions you got, gents? Is he wearing a long sleeve or short sleeve? He's wearing long sleeves and a, a wide-brimmed hat. Do me one last favor. Roll up your sleeves. Roll up my sleeves. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I can make you, or you can just do it on your own. I just so happen to like this shirt on me just the way it is. I think the checker pattern looks good down to my cuffs. How far well, away well, friend, is maybe I can maybe I can give you something to help you with that. And I kind of reach into my bag, and I turn around, and I throw my skelly hand at his throat, and I have it grab on. <laughs> oh, it's just going to fucking colors for him. <laughs> Okay, I'll start freaking out at this. You throw a skeleton hand at him. Yeah, that Give me a roll to hit. Yep. Uh, so what is it? I get I get a bonus for throwing because my I'm a halfling. It's one of the ones. So D twenty plus one, I guess. Yep. It's a nine. The skeleton hand lands near him and will roll initiative. All right. It'll for my <laughs> what do you want me to roll for skelly hand throwing plus three? Uh, yeah, actually, it's a, a very small creature, so just a flat d10. All right, All right. and he should be surprised too. Kind of <laughs> um, uh, he is surprised. Yes, he was very surprised. <laughs> All right, so he do, 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 do. you get a ten. So the skeleton hand like lands, tumbles, and is like getting up and moving back towards him to jump on his throat. He whips up his crossbow, surprised as all hell, um, and gives a yell to the, the field workers, help, I'm being oppressed. And uh, I think he's probably still in, too in shock to really do anything because you just threw a skeleton hand at him. He's not really expecting it. So we'll have his crossbow go off at the end of the round. It only makes sense. Um, so first up is Shag. Oh yeah, I roll right up to him and just pff, color spray him. He, oh. I'm assuming he is not a level four. No. I don't have color spray. Four. I can't cast otherwise. I totally wouldn't. Four or higher. No. So, no. Yeah, he just, pff, unconscious. He falls unconscious. He slips out of his rocking chair. His crossbow hits the ground. A bolt sails off into the <gasps> distance. Someone roll me a 1d100. Do not roll a 1. Super 1. Oh! It narrowly misses one of the field workers out there and implants, implants itself into a, a whole bushel of potatoes. That's fine. Okay, cool. I call my skeleton hand back then if he's unconscious. There's no reason to choke him out. We were okay. just gonna unconscious choke him. All right. Um, the field workers stand staring at you. Just be over just a moment, and I'll just walk I, up and roll up his sleeves and see if he's got any anything I, on his arms. I chant the uh, magical uh, chant for against fear to calm myself down. Because <laughs> 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 I just saw a flipping and necromantic it's hand. Every, it's fine. Every, yeah. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's. Uh, there are large scratch marks on his arms up and down and as you roll up the sleeves you notice that they like extend further up onto his arms and like onto his back as well he's got scratch marks all over him mm. well boys i think we might have found our our friend all right well, let's cool. gauge his strength first do you have the means to do this mm. is he strong enough well give me a perception check well perception does shag check. have a gauge ability as a rogue half rogue Oh, uh, we don't know. Uh, uh, well, yeah, that's 32 me. is going to be uh, enough. Uh... <laughs> also, for the gauge, I'd kind of need to see him in action. Right. Uh, fair enough, yeah. Uh, so this guy is... How do we say? He has the strength of a person who walks around carrying his amount of weight all day. But um... he does not have the strength of someone who works in the field. So 
I, I know we don't usually split stats here. I would say mm. generally he has 13 strength, but that's probably all like leg and back strength from, because he's kind of a, a heavy guy. Um, but his mm. arms, it's like right in that border region. Like he might, he could probably choke her, but it might not leave that level of bruising. It, it's mm. right on the cusp for his arms. So when we said at least 12, it was a min like bare minimum, like it taking at least that much, probably more. You at least that much to leave that bruising. So this guy's mm. got like 11 or 12 strength in his arms, I would say. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Um, he still could have done it. This is totally could have done it. All right. Uh, so we time up. All right. We will take him to the sheriff's office. Do you need me, you need me to re uh, do a dex check or a rope use? Proficiency there, Neil. To tie him up. Only yeah. if you want to make sure you do a really good job. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to do a good job. Oh, you've done a good oh, job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So he ain't getting out. And then uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go search his house. One, see if he's got like a club or something because he didn't leave a rock. So a club could easily have done that. Mm -hmm. um, he picked up the rock. And, uh, is the is the ground around here generally muddy? Like it's, I sure. Oh it's yeah, good. I mean it's a farm, so there's all mm. sorts of bare dirt everywhere, and there's lots of there's water dirt. that gets dumped on this shit. Okay. There's mud Smooth. all over the place. Okay. Could I, um, while he's searching the house, could I get one of his boots and take it back to the back of the house and see if it's the same as the ones by the back door? Ooh, yeah. You can definitely do this. Give me a perception check to measure him up right and get him just... I'm just going to take you know. it. Oh, to get him next to each other? Okay. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the prints are just about the same size. You know, like just enough that someone with a little bit of momentum might like kind of move their foot forward a little bit in the mud. Like there's... It's right... It's within tolerance for your test, uh, we'll call it. Uh, how... how uh individualized of the uh, shoe because i know modern day we've got prints on our base of our shoes but uh, do you have that in this era or are they all flat i i don't know did people have treads on their shoes in the year 1000 probably so not. i wouldn't probably think they had not. treads but i'd imagine they have different levels of wear on the bottom oh yeah like, that's right true. they'll get cut up differently yeah right yeah, but i don't game... know if the wear would show differently on uh, prints yeah I don't yeah. think you can print it up, though. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I don't, I don't think we're gonna get like a, a footprint match. Okay. Well, I That's mean, fine. unless you compare it with a footprint that outside his house that he made, but uh, I got his boot. That's as good as you're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm gonna head back with my new knowledge. Crutches, it's, motive, it's about right. Means. Yeah. I'm gonna... But does he have the opportunity? Well, he had no. Uh, but he he would not have known they were. Would he have known they were still in the residence? Well, then again, he wouldn't have known they were going to leave. But right. would he have known that she was going to be alone in the residence? That's and there was true. Not, her husband was going to be there. Right. Absolutely. We need to, yeah, we need to question him for this sort of yep. information. But, I mean, all the other factors, all the physical evidence matches so far. Correct. So far it does. Yes. Um, so when we get back, I'll, I'll fill them in that the boot's about the same, and I want to help them start looking around the house. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, by the time you get back, the guy will have woken up, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm standing over him. He's tied up. Uh, Shanks He's inside uh, investigating. So things I'm going to look for. Fancy alcohol that he should not be able to afford. Hmm. Give me uh, a, a... First off, let's just give me a flat perception check to search his out, house, and then we can go into, like, specific questions and everything. <laughs> All <Crit>. right. <laughs> the first thing that strikes you as you're walking in here is uh, there's a pair of ladies' undergarments sort of dangling from a, a shelf in the... He's kind of got, like, just one big room for kitchen, dining room, bedroom, everything. It's like a studio apartment, you know? Um, so right above the, the kitchen on one of the cupboards, there's a pair of ladies' undergarments that are mostly there but slightly hanging down. Then cool. there's the pile of wine bottles on one side and beer bottles on the other side. There's, like, a small table that's set up with a whole bunch of wooden cups um in like a, a pyramid formation like and like a, a small bouncy rubber rubber bouncy ball 
All right, um, so the blend beer pong, got it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, does the wine look? Is it in any way a high quality wine, or does it look like it's some like cheap? It wine? is cheap okay. wine. Okay. It's like you know, made in a prison bunk quality of wine, like. Somebody stole some potatoes and some sugar and put them in a bag with a little bit of bread and stuffed them under something for, you know, three weeks and boom, got some wine. Gross. Gotcha. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm thinking, like, even if he kills this person, he's still in debt and nothing we saw was taken from the estate. So why were yeah. any valuables taken? Hmm. Well, Shank's searching it to see if he can find yeah. me. So I'm going to investigate the uh, undergarments because even though I'm not a partaker of the undergarments myself, um, I understand the general differences. I've stolen from enough people. Sorry about the transitions chat. I was just, I broke something. Um, what was the question again? You didn't have a question. Uh, did you? you were making a statement. The ladies undergarments. Is there more female attire in there or is it just those? It's just the panties. It's a little weird. Is right. it the same size as the victim? Or you guys some... that out, as right? the victim? As a yeah. Lady Wilkins? Yes, Lady Wilkins. Yeah, Wilk you know what? She, Lady Wilkins might be in her 40s or 50s, um, but she's kind of a, a smallish woman, um, and this would definitely fit her. They're like, mm. you know, big granny yeah. panty bloomers. They're not like... Yeah, yeah lacy thongs but yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know who knows maybe that that style is the thongs of these there it era. is because there's no elastic that hasn't been yeah. invented yet so you can't have like you know modern oh. underwear yeah. it's a shame no you elastic but we've got a mechanical dragon yeah mechanical dragon but no elastic it makes no sense one. to me Right? Hey, it's yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 well, well, the new king of the gnome just invented Elastica, but I guess we wouldn't have it yet. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was all lost the following week when he <laughs> unfortunately had a massive Elastic-related incident. <laughs> 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 and that's how he got elected king. <laughs> that is how he got elected king. That's also how they invented the... Uh, no, it's flight program. <laughs> they didn't use the elastic, right? And instead of using it to launch him, they just launched him on a catapult and he just died. Oh. Because he's trying to use the elastic to save himself. And he's, he's fucking no. He doesn't understand how that actually works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it didn't work. I mean, he was hoping it would stretch out and be like a parachute to help him flow. <laughs> it did not work in that way. Caught on fire on something. The static well, that came out just burst into flames. No, yeah. no, it's completely unrelated. Uh, not, even, not even self caused, just like something. Uh, I remembered it wrong. It was a Thresh of the Wise who invented rope that can stretch. He didn't invent elastic. It's the opposite. Mm. That's obviously why his parachute didn't work as well. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And they used the catapult. It was like... Gnomes, man. Gnomes. Gnomes. Mm -hmm. I ain't slingshot. Would have been better. Oh. Uh, right. Maybe the next king. Maybe the next king. Maybe the next one. Yeah. All right. All right. So got that. Uh, any sources of large amounts of wealth that like would denote that, hey, or at least some wealth that he could could pay up. Uh, yeah, so you made a natural 20 on that perception check to search his apartment. Uh, and you're walking around, and you get over to near where his bed is, and there's some creaky-ass floorboards there. Oh, some, yeah. like, really, like, uh, eh, uh, eh, level of floorboards. Sorry. Um, and you, you flip them up, and sure enough, there's a lockbox in there filled with copper and silver. Um, probably enough to pay the debt that he owes her. What? What, uh, what did the note say about, or what did the ledger say about this guy? One month behind. One uh -huh. month behind. Hiding uh, money. Probably hiding money. Yeah. I, I think she said he was hiding money. I think hers was pretty yeah, defin she was definitive. She was convinced he was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if he already had the money, that might mean that he wouldn't have the uh, motive to rob her, but. 
Still. But he obviously didn't go over to her place ever. Um, yeah. how, how do we know he didn't go to her place? Was that? How do we know he didn't go to her place? I said probably based on oh. the maid and the cook. At least not during the day. It would have been in the evening. Not during the day. Probably not even during the evening. Following morning? No. So. Well, no, he on a regular basis is what I mean. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. yeah on yeah, a regular yeah. basis. Uh, but it just happened he got lucky and got there without her husband being there. Or he was informed that um, the husband had gone and she was alone in the house. Because, I mean, I don't know how strong the husband is, but that is usually a deterrent. He got on the boat. He never got off as far as the dock master is concerned. We could have asked around yeah. to see if he, like, snuck off and got back on, but that's it right yeah, now. Yeah, but that's not my point. Yeah. I'm the point uh, is uh, uh, the unconscious far, far, oh, farmer here who's just woken up. Um, he... Um, along with extra money, he's got to have be getting this money some way, and it's not by selling potatoes. Uh, maybe he's just in the bootleg alcohol industry selling cheap shit to does it look like he has enough here to sell to other people like other farmers or is it just like one crazy party worth looks like he's just a heavy heavy drinker okay. like a, a raging alcoholic are there any other buildings besides this house there is a little storage shed um, near the fields. You can see that the people who were laboring away on his fields are all standing around it, chatting amongst themselves right now. Um, hey, Prospect, uh, keep looking around. I can go talk with the field hands. Right, right. I'll stand at guard. I'm going to saunter on up to the field hands. Mm-hmm. They all okay. look at you and the dragon. They, they take their caps in their hands, give you a, a polite nod. What's up, boys? What's up? No, no need to magic us. Oh, no, no. No need at all. No need at all. Um, he was just an asshole. What can you tell me about him? About him? Yeah, about him. Well... He's an ass. Yeah. Uh, he drinks all day mm-hmm. and watches us working in the fields. He pays us a, a silver a day. It's pretty good. And common day laborers work, I guess. And, One silver uh, a day? That's going to be about three gold a month. Seems like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you try working it and living on it. Uh, oh, I, I don't need to. Got no family I can't make or more than that in one day. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is that seems like a more like a year's wage for you guys. They all shake their heads. No, I think we're the lowest paid people in town. Is this accurate, Neil? This is accurate. Silver day is the bare bottom. Like that is the cheapest labor that you can give someone. Ten bucks a day. I mean, you could in the in. We're, I'm trying to make present day economy and ancient economy as relatable as possible. Yeah, no. So, ten no, bucks I'm a day to hire someone to do to hire a laborer is. Yeah, that's, that's like hourly. The problem is, I'm yeah. also trying to think like mix like everything together. Like ten bucks a day, what I think of it, what it was worth in like the early 1900s, late 1800s. It's then. It's a yeah. The mm-hmm. economy is hard to gra- to wrap your head around, but I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I must be going off some weird information then. All right. So does he literally get all of his money from selling potatoes? From you guys picking the potatoes? Oh, well, he's got potatoes over here, but in that field over there, he's got... uh, We got some corn planted, and then he's also got some some, uh, pastures, and he's got some other people herding cattle that he milks and butchers. And he's got a pretty big farm here. Mm-hmm. And he's only got his own mouth to feed. Well, and he does feed it a lot. He uh, he gets by all right. 
can afford okay. to pay us a little bit better. You know, the house next door, mm -hmm. they hire on some help occasionally. They pay a silver and a half a day when they hire extra bad. help. It's not bad. Um, what do you know of his personal dealings? Or are you just trying to stay out of it because you don't give a fuck? I wish I could stay out of it, but all he does is sit around drinking all day, hanging out with his crossbows if he's going to threaten to shoot us if we don't work hard enough, yelling at us for not working hard enough, and then throwing silver at our feet when day's done. Do you know if he has uh, any extracurricular dealings with anyone in town? Oh, yeah. He's a big fan of uh, Burton's brothel. Not Big Ben's brothel, the soup house. Mm, but yeah, the the whole house, yeah. I know, I know the difference. Oh yeah, he uh, usually has them him. come down and visit him. Sometimes he'll pay us an extra couple copper to go tell him to send a lady over. <laughs> okay. All right. What do you know about his relationship with his landlord? Well, when he does talk, he's bitching her out. Like to her face or oh no never to her face behind her back to her face is all yes uh, yes ma'am no ma'am of course ma'am right away ma'am sorry ma'am i can't afford that the moment she turns her back it's that bitch she's the worst person in the world doesn't she know how hard i work over here keeping you in line she's never had to work a day in her life you know he doesn't even see the hypocrisy of what he says <laughs> i get you i get you do you know if did he get you or ask you guys to have or to bring a lady to him last night mm-hmm yeah he said bring someone by bring someone by okay interesting all right thank you that's all i need from you guys and i'll like how many of them are there uh there are five laborers i believe five laborers all right cool yeah i'll just hand each silver uh, you guys aren't might not be getting paid today so this is the very least and if you do double down thank you dragon riding kobold and um i think here after having visited each of the estates uh or the properties that are owned by lady matilda wilkins we should take our second break and when we come back, we will learn a little bit more about what's going on. So see you guys on the other side of a break. Bye-bye.